Open educational resources, commonly referred to as OER, are any teaching and learning materials that are both free for the user and that are licensed in a way that allows for reuse. A number of teachers at UTA have already adopted OER or other types of affordable resources. This video series highlights their stories. One popular form of OER is the open textbook, such as those published by OpenStax out of Rice University. OpenStax currently offers over 30 complete textbooks, along with supporting materials such as slides and test banks that are well suited for lower level courses. In their digital format, these texts are completely free of all cost and access barriers. Optional print copies can be purchased at a low price by students who prefer this format. I've used the OpenStax in my American history classes recently and come to really think highly of it. History 1311 is the U.S. History Survey to 1865, so the end of the Civil War. And 1312 picks up with Reconstruction and goes through mostly to today. So I'm using it in both halves in three different sections. They are required by the state that students have six hours in U.S. history to get any degree. So we get everybody. The adoption of the OpenStax U.S. History Textbook in online sections of History 1311 and 1312 saved students over $388,000 between summer 2016 and summer 2017, benefiting over 4,000 UTA students. I had used online textbooks before and the experience was not a happy one. There was all these access codes and keys and things to unlock and just technological nightmare to me. I mean it would just drag on for weeks and weeks when we were third or halfway through the semester and students still trying to get access to the book. This wasn't that at all. We actually now are recommending that if somebody picks up a class at the last minute, he's teaching a class they weren't expecting a couple of weeks before the semester starts, we now recommend that we'll go ahead and take a look at it. You might decide you want to adopt this and we've had a few faculty members that have decided to use it. They didn't know it existed, they took a look at it and they didn't want to waste their students money. It isn't just affordable but it's affordable and it's just as good a book. I think that a lot of students, because they can't afford a textbook, just try to muddle through without one or go to Wikipedia or something like that. And, and I think that we have more students actually looking at the materials that we're assigning than we would do if we're making them buy something that's 80 to to $100 and they can't afford it or they can't get it until three or four weeks into the semester. They can have this on day one. Give them a link and it worked and that's it. My, my sentence is longer than the time it took them to access the, the materials. If you're interested in learning about how to find OER or other affordable resources that can replace high-cost textbooks in your courses, get in touch or visit our website for more information.